Joining us on the show this afternoon, the Newfoundland skip, Brad Gushu. Great to have you here. Thanks. Yes, how are things going so far? Not as well as we hope, but uh, it's a long week yet, and if we uh, win some games at the end of the week, we'll be good. I was here, and uh, I saw my first live games, and uh, you guys seem to be doing uh, quite well on Saturday night, but I noticed at the end, uh, the last rock that went down fell fairly short of where it was supposed to yeah, end up. Tell yeah. me about that. Yeah, it was uh, kind of a freak thing. We talked to the ice makers after the game, and apparently the temperature changed about 9 degrees, and the ice got really soft in one end, and... Um, the weight changed probably 20 feet when you have a world-class skip like Jeff Stout and miss the rings by 20 feet and then myself, uh, you know, another world-class skip, uh, miss, miss the rings by 20 feet, you know something happened. So how often do you see that happen? I've never seen it happen and uh, talking to Dave and, and Greg, the ice makers, they've never seen it happen either and uh, ice making is an art, it's not a science and sometimes things happen that uh, you don't have any control of and, and uh, but I think they, they figured out what it was, and, and uh, it didn't happen yesterday, so that's a good thing. Good news. So hopefully uh, you've got a break now until tonight at 6.30. You're yep. playing uh, New Brunswick. Or how are you expecting that to go? Uh, they're a good team. We played James Gratton a number of times, and, and they always give us a tough game, and, and we expect that tonight. And uh, for us, we're going to have to play better. We haven't been playing uh, as well as we're capable of playing. So if, if we could step it up, no matter what the result, I'll, I'll be happy. But uh, we we got to improve. Yeah. Well, as most of our viewers know, you are, of course, the winner of Canada's first ever gold medal in curling, and that was in 2006 in Italy. Yeah. Uh, that was a fantastic uh, thing, and uh, we're going to see this weekend. I understand the Brad Jacobs rank is showing up here. Yeah, I, I think they're coming in Thursday or Friday, and, um, you know, they're going to be excited to come. We were in the same situation in 2006, got to go to the Briar after winning gold, and, you know, it's a good weekend uh, to show off the medal and, and, and celebrate the win. And, and I know all the people at Kamloops and all the curling fans are going to want to see them and uh, pat them on the back and see the medal. It seems to me that your curling schedule is quite busy. Between now and the middle of April, you have the National, the Pomeroy Prairie Showdown, Victoria Curling Classic, World Championships in Beijing, the Players' Championships. That's all before April 15th. How do you do that? You have a family. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're not going to play all of those this year, uh, but last year we played every every event other than the World Championship, and uh, it's really busy. It's, it's hard with family. Um, you know, you, you my wife becomes a single parent uh, during curling season, really, and, and uh, without her support, I wouldn't be able to do this. We have some pictures of your girls. I understand you have two daughters, and their names, of course, are Haley and Marissa. Is Haley the older one, or is Haley the younger one? Ha Haley's the older one, Marissa's the younger one, and, and they get their good looks from uh, their mother. <laughs> <laughs> we can go through to the next picture. Yeah. We have a few. Nice family shot here. Yeah. You guys live in St. John's, of course. Yes, yeah. And yep. then the next one's poignant, of course, hanging out at the curling rink in the baby carrier. <laughs> Tell me this, are your kids playing curling already? No, they haven't started yet. I, I would think uh, my oldest, Haley, will probably start in the next couple of years, but she's only 37 pounds and the rocks weigh more than her now, <laughs> so I don't really want to start her yeah, yet. Yeah, I guess not. Uh, next picture we have of you, uh, you got to meet uh, some royalty as well. When was this? Uh, I believe this was a couple of years ago. Um, they were down in... in um, yeah, we were invited to go to a, a ceremony and, and got to meet Prince Charles. I actually got to meet him a couple times that year because uh, I got to go visit the Athletes Village in Vancouver and he did a tour of, of the village while I was there and, and got to meet him again. And, um, you know, it, it was real nice. They know your name and they, they actually do the research on you so they know about what you do. And, That's uh, very cool. It, it, was a, it was a fun ceremony. And so you are away a lot of the time, getting back to your busy schedule, but you still have time to, you're a business owner, you own uh, some Menchie's locations, yeah. three of them? Uh, two and, and a third on the way, yeah. Fantastic, we yeah. have a shot there. Of course, yeah. Menchie's new to our town, we have yeah. two, they just came yeah. in last year. Yeah, and a friend of mine actually owns those, uh, okay. uh, Nicole Pitcher, and, and um, yeah, it's a fun business, it's, uh, I love the product, I love the business, and, and uh, I got a great staff at home, great managers, and because uh, they take care of it while on the way. So, right. uh, you know, everything's worked out very well and, and uh, hopefully we'll continue to do that. So your girl's yogurt needs are being met. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, actually my, my oldest didn't like yogurt when we first opened it, but then she, uh, just because she didn't try it, and then she tried it and now she wants to go there every day. Right. Uh, let's talk about your mom. I know she is probably your biggest fan next to your wife and your kids. Yep. She comes to all the briars, you say. Yes. She wasn't yep. able to go to Italy because of health concerns. Yes. Sorry here, I believe, on Saturday night holding yep. up the Newfoundland flag. Yep. Uh, you guys are pretty tight. Absolutely. Uh, I'm very tight with my parents. They supported me uh, right when I started curling when I was 13 years old and, and have ever since. And every briar, they're here. And 
I would think they'd probably come to the Briar even if we weren't here. They they love the Briar, they love the atmosphere, and they got a lot of friends that they met over the years here. So your dad is here as well? Yes, my dad is actually uh, uh, probably more popular at the Briar than I am. He's uh, regular in the patch, and uh, he likes to have a good time. Fantastic, yeah. good. Well, we're really thrilled that you could uh, join us today. I'm looking to see if I have any more questions for you. You co-authored a book. Yeah, well, uh, I helped. I didn't do any of the writing. I, right. I gave a lot of the material, kind of yeah. spoke what, wanted, what, what we wanted to put in there, but we had a lot of opportunities after the Olympics to talk about our experience and how our team came together. And uh, we took one of those opportunities with uh, Alex J. Walling, who used to be with TSN, and, and uh, wrote a book about what happened over in Torino and, and leading up to that. That's fantastic. Yeah. Excellent. And so you've been curling, you said, since you were 13 years old. 13. Actually, pretty late for most curlers start when they're 7 or 8 years old. I started at 13 and caught on real quick and practiced really every day since. I uh, fell in love with it right from the get-go. And mm -hmm. it's funny, my first day of curling was the day after my last game of hockey. So I, uh, right. once I started curling, I, my hockey career was done. Goodbye hockey and yes. hello curling. Exactly. You know what? I took uh, one course where I tried to learn to curl for my midday show. It's a lot harder than it looks. It really is. It is. And, and most people don't understand that because they see the Briar and, and the Olympics and the Scott Tournament Hearts and they say, wow, that looks so easy. But you're watching people that do it every day for years and years and years. And, and uh, it, it's very, very hard if you're going to try it. Right. But perseverance pays off for uh, somebody with a gold, uh, uh, a gold from the Olympics. Uh, you've got a lot to be proud of. Thank you. For sure. Thanks. Thank you for being here today, Brad Gushu. And good luck tonight with New Brunswick. We hope that the draw goes really well for Thank you. you. Thanks. All right.